Hi, it's Kim, and welcome to the channel today. I'm in a race to get all my tender house plants inside for the winter. I've got so many outside, but I know the cold weather warnings will start soon, and I don't want to be so far behind that I can't get it done. If it's going to get cold here very soon, I've really got to get to work. I got a lot of plants to dig up the top layer or inch of soil, mix in my granules, and get everything ready. Oh, new tiny little growth coming in. Well, we'll see. We've got to get this done. I'm going to get some clippings of this to take in. Look how gorgeous it has been. And the wandering Jew is just out of its mind. It is crazy. That's, this is the door, door knob. Straight across, that's how high it's growing. I have to save some of this, but I won't be saving the entire pot. But I will be getting some of my flowering maple. I can't resist it. It's just too pretty. I can't leave that this outside to freeze. We're gonna take some cuttings in. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. I'm definitely bringing some in. From experience, it'll root in just less than a week, so I'm going to bring some in. I'm just needing a little bit more work out here to prep these. I'm getting them all debugged and prepped with my systemic insecticide, of course. And then I've just got to work on it before the little chipmunks come out here and destroy everything. So I've chosen some planters. I'm working on a few things. And then I do plan to root some cuttings so that I can have pieces of this plant. It's just so huge. I can't do without it. And the bird of paradise, it will be coming upstairs I've got it mostly treated, but we're working on that. So let's get a few of these inside. Now I've got a lot of mess in here. Everything needs to be adjusted and fixed. Now, I chose a time when my grandson was available to film. Here's another one so that he could kind of follow me in and out. It's just a time-consuming process to get everything all fixed and ready, treated, soil change, um, everything ready to get them in. And I have way too many plants. Don't tell my husband I said that. But for instance, here's this um, Ello Crosby's prolifica. It has just gone very, very nice this year. Kind of freed it up with some space and it's kind of spread out. I've got some plans for those succulents there on the left to go into the aquarium on the right. It's going to be nice. Just wait, but I've got all that for this winter. Okay, now. These will be for replanting tomorrow. I've just got to get them situated. I've got the plants all cleaned, but I think I'm going to put each of these into the little white urns. That should be pretty. And then I'll figure out these later on. But at least I've made some progress today. 
Well, we'll need to continue this later. I'm still battling with the light timers here. I just cannot get this one to operate. Don't know what's wrong, but we've got the plants in here, so I do need the lights. And fungus gnats, I'm ready for you. Let's let the battle begin.